So what we have here is I I'm going to have a new person helping me. Uh, she's going to help me through the series. I basically I just booted up the game, so I don't know a lot about this. I have seen a YouTuber that I know that does F1 series play at least the Bahrain race, and I thought it was very very good. I really enjoyed this. I I kind of just do -do 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 -do, right right to what he because he knows exactly what he's doing, and I don't want to be a part of that. I also picked Williams because of course we drive as Williams because they're terrible, and we want the hardest way possible of driving. Um, makes me feel good in, in the okay, long run, then. so. Let's look ahead to the race weekend. Hello. We need to start preparing for the next Grand Prix, which okay. will be the first of the season. Okay, can do. As it's your first day, though, there's nothing urgent for you to address. Oh, well, cool. Feel free to explore more, or you can select continue and sign off for the day. Once you do, time will pass. But don't worry about missing anything. You'll automatically sign back in if an important event comes up. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, wow, there is a lot of information here. First, let's go to the inbox. Uh, okay. Yep. They're interesting. Oh, if you want to know what the name of my uh, my person is, it's Bruce Games. I told you I was honoring him. So there you go. This is your new inbox. It's good to uh, have a check in. Yada yada yada. Ba da ba ba. There we go. Anyways, calendar. This is your calendar for the month. Pay attention to the events that have been marked. The race weekends have already been added for you. Okay. More events will get added as the season progresses. Thank you. So what do we got here? Aerodynamics testing. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, you, you start in the aerodynamics testing. Okay. And then what's this? Sponsorship obligation. Preseason testing. Oh, and then, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So we got two weeks before Bahrain. And then Saudi Arabia is right after. Okay. Okay. Historically safety safety car chance 100% Okay 100 only 50% really in Australia I crash here all the time a 22% chance of rain Wow, that's really Miami I would have thought Miami was a lot higher than that 75 now you'll see here, this is the first time it's been to Miami. That's why the historical safety car chance is zero. And Monaco, only 67%. Go figure. All right, we'll check here. As for Jean, only three. 50% there. Ooh, 20, only 22% in, in England. England. Get out of here. 38%. Come on. I do actually have a lot of rain when I go there usually. Okay. Not too shabby. Zero percent. Well, this is like the first time they came back to here, so. Since last season. Must not have been one last, last season. Okay. Alright. So we have the second one. 17. 40 percent in, in Brazil. Okay. Well, I don't remember that. Okay. Okay. Well then. This is where you carry out your final preparations for the next race. Ah. We'll come back here later. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I don't want to touch those. One of my favorite places. This is where the car builds happen and where we develop and store our car parts. Throughout the season, you'll want to make sure the team are working on upgrading components and that both cars are being kept in good repair. Yeah. You can also use car analysis to compare our car builds to other teams. Oh, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. I, I would... Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, if you guys don't know the little background about this, this is Latifi. Nicholas Latifi. He's a Canadian. Uh, and his job is to crash every race. Or, as we like to call it, he is the Go-Tifi. It is a meme out there. Um team will continuously develop their cars over the season okay so it's important you keep an eye on them okay you can compare our team cars against any other team here or even against an average of all teams if you want to drill down even further you can compare performance of specific car parts too okay okay 
So let's, uh, I would say our nearest rival would be Aston Martin for sure. And number one, their number one driver, of course, would be that. Um, they have a faster car, barely. Uh, acceleration, which actually, for this race, you want acceleration. You want low speed. Oh, I like the check marks. Yeah, recommended for the circuit. Critical for the circuit. Okay, so we are faster in the medium. We are faster in the medium. Low speed, they are faster. They are faster. Acceleration, they are faster. So we're really i'm gonna okay i for this race i'm going to fo i'm gonna tell them to focus on low speed and uh acceleration and i think if we can do that we can get up what's what's our goal uh i'm looking for goals uh drivers okay this is where you'll find relevant information on the team's drivers and reserve driver. Oh, we get a reserve driver too? Ratings and contract details. Oh, hold on. The hold the back sure door. The best driver pairing we can. You just got me excited. I can have, I can, oh man. I can get rid of, oh, how old is Elbon? Elbon's old, isn't he? You can see he? here, when a driver has development points available, you can use them to improve their performance. Oh, that's cool. Highlighting a performance rating will give you more information on their effects. Cool. You can also select any of the tabs at the top there to look into the specifics of the driver. For example, before you leave, you might want to check out their current contract with the team. He's trying to tell me, like, Albon, you might want to check Albon's contract. <laughs> what is Albon's contract? Morale is okay. He's only okay. All right. He makes six million. He's only got one year left on his contract. What's the date? Okay, so he his contract. He's got one year left on his contract. That's it. Ah, uh, let's look for a different guy. I'm keeping Latifi. That's the thing. I'm keeping flipping Latifi. All right, because. Oh, what's this card? Oh, I I'm so sorry, guys. I'm gonna go through this a little bit and just kind of get kind of excited. Growth potential is average. Aggression is okay. The driver with a high aggression will drive closer to competition than attempt to overtake more often, but uh, uh, there's increased the chance of being involved in crash. Okay, so he doesn't like to get he doesn't like to get into crashes. Jack's 26 years old. I gotta get a different driver. I like Jack. I dr I've driven in with Jack before, and I actually do enjoy it. Uh, do enjoy Jack a lot. Um. Okay. Yeah. See, this is this is when he was driving in uh, F2. This is Art and Campos. So if you if you've ever driven in uh, F2 or ever driven in the F1 games, you can know you could drive F2. And so I know that's how I know him. And so he is in the reserves. Okay. Okay. I think we need to scout for a different driver. Uh, overall rate 32. Shut up. This guy is six. He's 16. Cannot race in F1. The driver cannot race in F1 in the Form 1 until. They're over the age of 18 and have, com uh, and have completed at least two seasons. <gasps> Wait, do we get to have F2 and F3 stuff too? Oh, that'd be cool in this. Oh my god, I would love. Okay, what's his potential? They don't have the Oh, Oh, I need to scout him? Okay, this game's getting better and better. This game's getting better and better. I, I mean, literally. I could, I could grab the worst player and try to take the worst player. Verstappen's the 90, of course he would be. Who's the... Okay, so we have... We do not have a very good standing. I mean, that that's our starting driver. That's our full backup. But he's a starting driver, basically. Holy crap, and he's right down the line. Who's the best F2 driver? Draco Fila. Okay, yeah. Who is he driving for right now? He, he is 23. I could probably get into, get into a contract negotiations with him. Especially at 73. Bringing him in. There's, I mean, he's compared to Latifi. 
He's actually compared with Latifi. A 19 year old? From where? He's from Australia. Wow, I could, okay, I could get in, ah, uh, man, you guys are going to hate me for this. I could get into a couple hours getting into this game for sure. Going through and just scouting and, and scouting and scouting and 16-year-old. Hold on a second, 63? 18, this guy, he's an F2 racer, and he's 18. He could probably, this guy probably, oh, there's a couple 18-year-olds. There's a 19, Dogon? That's like a 19-year-old, oh, that's the kid I just had. Okay. This 18 year old. Oh, Porsche. Oh, I know this kid. I know this kid. He is. Oh, this guy's one of the best drivers out there. I'm going to detail scout on him. Okay, that's one scout down. Okay. He raced for Art, which is actually one of the best F2. Okay. So I'm going to do him. And you know, this guy's an underrated one. I actually played with Vips, too. He was actually my uh, my teammate. Very good driver. Very good driver. Let me get him. Okay. All right. So we've done that. We've done the, the details I need. Okay. Next, so we've done drivers. Because Elbon. I, I think I want Elbon. I'm keeping Latifi. I don't care if he's 26. Keeping Latifi. You keep the, always keep the goat TV. It's not just the fastest car that makes a team the best in F1. It's the people doing the hard work behind the scenes. Manage your staff from here, from department heads to your pit crew, and keep up to date on their performance. Okay. Morales, okay. I think I think it's gonna everything is gonna be okay. He's got three years contract left. Uh, where is his contract? He's got three contracts too. Okay. Contract for him. Four years. Oh, man. Okay. They have buckled me in. Like, to get these guys out of here is going to be just... Ugh. Ugh. So, I'm going to compare him to... Oh, I guess nobody on my team. Okay. I guess I could only compare him to others. Okay. I have six members on the engineer staff. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Wow. Speed up car parts, salary, scouting team. I can only have two, but I can upgrade the scouting team. Pit crew is a balanced pit crew, yeah. Okay. Okay, I can see how I, I could get really, really, really into this. Okay. Our facilities. From here, you can see all the team's facilities. From the staff buildings to the car park development centers. You can build new facilities, or if the team has the time and money, upgrade our existing ones facilities affect all areas of our team's performance okay so we could upgrade make our car better at any time uh building oh here team facilities impact everyday uh team uh, building a new facility take time and money Six these pills that could be upgraded improved monthly upkeep okay so so basically what they're saying is over time you'll de de uh, degrade and their effectiveness reduce, refurbishing your facility with effective mass. Okay. Okay. Over time, facilities will degrade and become less effective. That's exactly so what So keep an eye on their All condition. Right. When this happens, we'll need to look at refurbishing or even upgrading that facility to get back to maximum efficiency. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Oh, I could just hover over it uh, and then get the the same effect. Okay. Wow, 15 upgrades, seven upgrades, nine upgrades from there. Okay. Here's the Don't board. Don't forget to check in with the board often. Okay. You can monitor board confidence levels, your available budget, and your progress towards a greater team rating from here. Okay. Uh, what is my board confidence right now? They're satisfied. Medium. Season objective. I believe this is as a team. Is ninth. Okay. Score points in 50% of, of the season races. Oh. Ooh, I don't know about that. I don't know if I could do that. Ouch. Oh, okay. Do it by 2024. Okay. So I have a couple seasons to get there. Okay, I already know the team rating. And, Here you can delve deeper and the finances. Team finances and see our balance. 
as well as okay. understanding information Ooh, manage on my sponsorships. And the enforced yeah, 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 sponsorships. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, your team uh, must create merchandising featuring your sponsor uh, sponsors paying. Paying to have the merchandise made re uh, requires an uh, upfront cost, but selling will increase the sponsor's income per day. Uh, main funds 81 million. Sponsorships is 15. Okay. Okay. Okay, I can't click on it. Number of events. Your team must honor a bunch of, uh, in your race simulator. Drivers won't be able to use the simulator while they're hosting these events, so it won't gain boot boost experience. Oh. Oh, these are required sponsorships. Your team must host a sponsorship event in the pit box during the race day to distract the crew. Oh, jeez. Your team must host a sponsorship in the memorabilia room. The facility will be closed for hosting, so staff can't gain morale boost. One or both of your drivers must make immediate appearance throughout the season. It's great uh, publicity for your sponsorships, but the drivers won't gain experience for the week to the appearance. Both of our drivers can wait. Can I? Okay, I can't say both. All right, driver experience pause for the week for appearance. Okay, so, but we get five million dollars. Okay. So it looks like at the end of the year, I can I can say, no, I don't want this anymore. I do want this. Okay, that's cool. Okay. And, of course, the standings, which I believe is just plain simple. It's the standings, of course. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we've gone through them all. That took some time, so I apologize about that. But this is getting... Okay. Um, aerodynamic testing's in a week. I want to check the car, and I want to know... I want to know if, if we are... Hold on. I got to see. Maybe it's facility I have to do it in? I want to upgrade... This is the warehouse. Isn't it wonderful? Yes. This is where we store any uninstalled car parts. We can also design oh. and manufacture new and oh. aerodynamic car parts in-house throughout the Oh, season. that is cool. And install them on our cars. Actually, hold on. Okay. My ex is supposed to hold on. You'll come back. Like, did she, did she actually leave and set down the phone or something? Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, every team is two cars. Okay, so we're just talking about our cars. Each car parts with six aerodynamic car parts, which is designed to manufacture powertrain. Okay. Also, three powertrain. Okay, development. Uh, all teams. Can, oh. The engineering team have just finished manufacturing a suspension system what? of a brand new design. Oh, that's cool. Well-designed suspension is crucial to the aerodynamic potential of a race car. We always want the best components possible in our cars, so it's worth checking to see if we should install this one instead of the model we currently have. Okay. Right. All the available suspension designs are here to look through. Notice how both cars currently have the same suspension design installed. Yes, I do. Check the new design at the top of the list. As each car can only have one suspension fitted, you'll want to check the stats of the new design to see... Take the time here to compare the two designs. You may also want to pay attention to the stats that are crucial for the next race. Yeah. And see which suspension is more suitable for that Yeah, there's, there's critical things that are going to say, yeah. Okay. Looks like this new design only has positive impacts on the car. That's great news. Yeah. We only have one copy of this suspension at the moment. So you need to decide which car to install it on. Well, of course I know which car Select to install the it on. suspension design and get it installed. Can't wait to see this in action. Okay, so... Install it. I'm going to install it. I'm going to install it on car too. Great work. That's it's like a glove. Fitted. If you want to have more copies of this design manufactured, you can do so from here. Just remember those F1 mandated spending caps. The official limit on how much we can spend on car development oh. and improvement each season. Oh, okay. If you don't want the team to manufacture anything right now, we should probably head back. No, I want them to manufacture another one of these then. If this is going to help, the new fitted helps our top speed medium of course i yes even though it's only 1g i mean it helps a lot of our manufacture this 
Uh, when will the... Okay. The 12th. When is the... Oh, I can't touch the calendar. Why can't I touch the calendar? Is, okay, it's five days. I know... If I, okay, we're good. We're good. I'll confirm this. Yes. It's fine. It takes the team a while to manufacture a new car part. If you check your calendar, they'll have given you a delivery date. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to wait on that. I'm going to go here to... Can I make... Unused car part. You can't. You cannot buy a new engine for this car because the one or more currently is unused. Okay. Okay. Looks like. Okay. So this has nothing to do with like research, though. Okay. All right. There. Wow. Really? You gave him the worst engine? No. You gave him the faster engine in car. Why is he car two then? That is so funny. All right, they both got the wings. I don't see anything that could be... Yo, you upgrade. They didn't tell me how to upgrade my, my car, so... All right. Oh, wait, is it... To start ah, the here we go. You need to commit money and engineering time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's the suspension and so on. Okay. Let's there go. Are three different types of projects oh, come on. the engineering team can work on. <laughs> we can design a new car part for use this season manufacture copies of existing designs okay or undertake research and develop our expertise for next season are you sure you want to start a new project yes yes i would locked until april 18th okay so i want to design a new part okay you want to get started with a design project yeah these are car parts we can design and manufacture in-house. Okay. Each car part impacts different areas of a okay. car's performance. But certain car parts will have a greater impact than others. You can also view our okay. performance by rank on grid. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Take a look over the different car parts. I will. The highlights indicate which performance areas they impact. Cool. All right. All right. So we need... This is the underfloor is going to be key for this first race. Yeah, I'm going to do underfloor. Underfloor is key for the first race. The team's expertise in making new car parts improves with experience. So God, that's so good. Is likely to be better than an older one. Okay. Just make sure to check. You know what? You know what the weird thing about this is? Installed. Like, if they would implement this into like F1, the driving, I would learn so much more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into this so much. That as soon as we get to F1, I'm going to be driving. I'm going to be in there like, oh, hey, Bandit, we need to work on this and this and do this and change this. And he'll be like, how the heck do you know this? And I'll be like, oh, tch, the manager game taught me all this stuff. That's cool. Science. Testing is also an important step in designing a new car part. Our testing time is limited throughout the season. And it's up to you to decide how much to commit to each design project. Like if all of it. If you assign some testing time to this design now. You can see what effect it will have on the car part. Okay. Once you've taken a look, let's continue. Okay, so... Wait. Okay. Okay, so I have... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah! Wait, what is this? Wind tunnel hours. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Okay, so I got to do math. Oh, God, I got to do math now. Okay. So, 56 days. That's two months. In two months, we're going to have eight races. So, six times... You guys, I, I'm doing math right now. Six. Uh, More than likely, it should be, I, I believe. I believe that's... It's got to be at least eight races. So eight divided by 6.3... So I could do one point, or no, it'd be six point three divided by eight races. I can do, I can do seven point eight CFU hours, and then out of the wind tunnel one, we have eighty four hours out of eight races. Out of eight races, it's ten. Okay, 
All right, so I got I have that. So I can do 7.8 here. I'll do 8. 8 on this one because it's really important on this one. And then the wind tunnel hours, I can do 10. I, I'll do 11 hours on those. Okay. You can direct your engineering team to focus on specific areas of... Oh, can I? F1 car parts are complex. And sometimes you'll have to sacrifice performance in one area. Oh, that's fine. Over the season, we'll understand more about our car's performance, which will help you to guide the team's design focus. You Thank you. <laughs> You've much helped me. Thank you. Okay, so drag reduction, which would reduce my top speed and then my acceleration. My acceleration is actually very, it's, it's actually what I need. Top speed is down, but top speed is not important here. So I'm going to I'm going to reduce top speed. Increase. Oh, wow, that really hurts a lot. Okay, I'm going to keep that one. Well, I'm going to lower what if I lower high speed. Increase increase. And arrow sensitivity. Now I'll leave that as okay. As a final step okay. before the team gets started on this design you need to decide how many engineers you want working on the car. You should also decide what approach they should take. Okay. Bear in mind, these decisions will have an impact on the duration and cost of the project. All right. When you're happy with everything, confirm. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay. All six. Okay. You can assign uh, up to six for the project. More engineers mean faster completions, but lower expertise gain. What does expertise mean? I cannot work on anything while the project's underway. Okay, I'll I will I'll do four engineers. Oh what? This ain't gonna be. This is gonna be done in fifty-five days. I need this now. Fine. All right. Well, I'll have two engineers working on it. Wait. Oh, wait a second. No, literally, it's still 55 days. Even if I max it out, it'll be 55 days. Yeah. One engineer rushed. I could have it done in 37 days if I use all six. I mean, it's just how many engineers I want to use. Okay. I'll do 69. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll use three engineers on a normal basis. This sucks. Yeah, that's fine. God, that part was perfect nice too. That's the project started. If you check your calendar, you'll see continually designing new car parts is imperative. Okay, thank you. God dang it, it's it's. I'm not gonna be able to do. Wow, that project was gonna be really good too. Okay. All right, so uh, let's move on to the next day. Continue. Right there. It's no longer your first day. We'll have you on top of things in no time. You'll continue moving through days this way until it's time for the race, which you can see in the upcoming events list. Okay. It's good to get in the habit of regularly checking that list. Okay. Let's take a look at what needs doing today. You have an alert in the top corner. There's an important email awaiting a response, so you should check your inbox when you're ready. Thank you. Welcome to the team, Bruce. Uh, this is this is your new inbox. It's, oh, I already have him today. Okay. Yes, I've already read that. Here we go. Looks like you've received a budget approval request. Most of the team's budget is decided by the board at the start of the season, plus whatever we get from last season's prize money. Okay. And any extra sponsorship revenue we earn. Okay. Uh, good morning, Bruce. We have an idea for a start kickoff party to bring everyone together to celebrate the team. We'll need a budget approval if you want to go ahead with it. What do you think, Maria? Okay, so if I do this, it'll improve the driver morale too and the staff morale. But it costs us ten. Of course, of course. I'm not. I'm not horrendous. I reckon that's a good decision. Yeah. It should keep the team in high spirits. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Now that's dealt with. We can focus on our first Grand Prix of the season. Yes. The race weekend is still a few days away, so move forward when you're ready. Okay. All right. Sponsorship obligations. I just realized that you, uh, that you joined the team. A little too late to negotiate the sponsorship ob obligations for the season. Sponsorships is a big source 
of income for all the F1 teams, but the funding is a two-way relationship. When ne negotiating sponsorship deals at the start of the season, we'll need to offer certain obligations and on the other side, like creating merchandise in the future as our sponsors or hosting sponsor events in our factory throughout the season. They could be a little inconvenient on the team, but they can secure the funding that will keep us competitive. You can track the calendar to see our obligations uh, will be happen when our obligations will be happening. I'll put a link in uh, below. Thank you. Allow me to introduce myself to a new talent of the team. Okay, blend the expertise. All right, and that's that. Okay, very very good. Continue. We're getting very close to race day now. We are. I'm so excited. Just continue to do anything that's needed. Okay. In the future, you'll also want to decide on these actions yourself. To ensure our team are continuously developing and improving. Cool beans, thank you. Okay, let's see. Hi Bruce, we uh, we have a low number of manufacturer suspension W22 designs. Uh, yeah, the design is currently fitted on car 2. And if we have an unlucky race weekend, we might run out uh, entirely and be forced to buy an emergency replacement. I've added a report on car 2 and how many parts we have in the current current build will feel free to in the warehouse I recommend I recommend you manufacture a new version of the suspension didn't I already did I not do that already wait didn't I already do that wait 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 a second wait ah, da, 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 get out get out get out get out go go back to the email go back to the emails go to my warehouse didn't I already say that it's the first the suspension right do I not did I not have another part coming Uh, oh, okay. Oh, we do. Okay, and one day I'll have that new part. Okay. One day I'll have the new part. Okay, gotcha. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, stop, stop annoying me with this being scared. There we go. There's the new part. Cool. Okay, so we got the new suspension in today. Uh, this will help us. Go ahead and insert. Okay. Go to our car setup. And insert this in car one. Like I wanted to anyways. I knew that would happen. Um, okay, so I'm going to manufacture another one just in case our suspension does go down. Um, yeah, actually, I'm going to do, I want to do two of them. Let's do two. Manufacture two of them. We'll have it on the safe side. I want to make sure we, we are ready with that suspension in case somebody does happen to crash. Ha 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 ha. All right, here we go. Completion on that. Oh, here we go. Final work to do before we can set off. All right. Check your inbox for the race prep report on this weekend circuit. Thank you. All right. Uh, make sure she just finished. Designed the store. Okay, good. So that's good there. So we've done that. Good morning. With Bahrain testing behind us, we uh, we now know where our car stands versus the other teams. I've attached a report of the details of the information. Okay. Why are these in red? <laughs> Holy crap, we suck. Okay, our goal. Okay, I'm. Oh, God, I gotta try to think. How am I gonna push this car? Our car is gonna be so bad. Okay, I'm gonna have them push the car really, really hard. Okay, you have all the information you yeah. should need. Let's head to race preparation to see if there's any remaining tasks for us. Okay. Power is, is almost here. I wanted to make sure that it is perfect for sleep. As you, uh, as always, make sure that you are completed on the blower weekend. Check the, the circuit information to help the strategy. Sponsorship targets. Oh, I got to search tar targets. Can I click on I can't click on it. Check the builds. Car builds. Okay. Current info. It's going to be a cloudy day won't be bad for us 57 laps okay um how can i uh performance targets it's got to be sponsorships sponsorships going to be in finances watch this sponsor sponsorships uh recent event no driver appearances no nothing here i wonder if it's in Okay, that's nothing there. 
This is your race preparation. Ah, there area, it is. Performing target. Gotcha. Where you'll okay. Get the team ready for Got the it. Coming race weekend. You can also find all the information you need on the circuit we're racing on here. Okay. One thing you always need to do before each race weekend is setting our performance targets. These help us generate more potential rewards for the team. Thank you. Okay. Circuit information. Okay, so we're good there. Oh, this is in depth. Oh, section of corners. Okay, DRS. Sector three, Q two. Okay. Sector one, sector two, sector three. Speeds. And overall, C spectrum to the base. Okay. Slow sections, fast sections. Okay. Straight sections. All right. Gotcha. All right. Time conditions, green flag, hazards, 22 seconds, safety car. Okay, deployments, no deployments, safety coverage, okay. Oh, okay, so this is what, okay. Um, I actually want to try. Okay. Time loss from okay, eleven seconds from that. I'll only, I'll only get six seconds if it degrades. Previous race results. Okay. I don't know why. Why do you say George Russell? George Russell's not part of Williams. Oh, that was last year. Yeah, we did have George Russell. Yeah, who's on Mercedes now? So, and what did uh? Yeah, Mazepin was such a terrible driver last year too. Uh, what did? Where is he? Oh, he wasn't even part of a team last year. Okay. All right. So, um, the TV didn't finish and he was a lap down. Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Uh, what does our... Here we've got the performance targets for this coming weekend. If we meet these, we'll gain extra revenue. Okay, cool. Okay. Looks like we've got incentives for both the qualifying session and the race. If we can reach those targets, we'll get an additional payout, and it won't cost the team anything if we don't meet them. You can also decide to add targets here and offer our sponsors guarantees. Okay. These are a risk as we face a potential financial loss if we don't meet them. Okay. If you want to offer a guarantee for this weekend and raise the team's potential... Okay, so what do we need to do? Uh, reach a minimum qualified position of 15th. We could probably both, with both drivers. I, I could try. I could try to really push that. If I do another one, what's what's another one? Reach Q3? Uh, hold the fastest lap for the race. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. We're so slow. Finish the race in at least 15 position with at least one driver. Um, okay. I mean, what? I mean, we have to do that anyways, right? Qualified 15th uh, or higher for four races in a row. Okay. Okay. Um I'm going to do this one. That feels like something we can achieve without too much. That's what I was thinking too. The reward if we meet the guarantee is good and the potential loss doesn't seem too bad. Thank you. Okay, we're done here. Yep. So I I think that one's a good one and it's a lot of money to get into. Almost $100,000 we'll get out of that. Th this one I can't guarantee it. We're going to do anything during the race. I don't know how the race is going to be, so I I like that. You've done everything needed. Thank you. And the team can't wait to get started. Can't either, either. It's time for the first race of the season. Let's go, Let's then. To look around if you like. Woo! Let's get it on. All hired drivers. All parts are fitted. Let's go. And let's get to race weekend. The next video. I know you guys hate me for this, but I, I this was a deep dive dive to dive 
to dive to dive thank you very much guys for being here we do appreciate you uh, i do appreciate you um check the next video hopefully it should be up by tomorrow uh i, I really am starting to enjoy this even though we've only done this we'll see what the race is like tomorrow thank you again guys have a great night and goodbye